All right, boys, super excited for this one. We have Big Tay against Fancy, and Fancy is probably the guy I'm most excited to watch in this tournament. Big Tay as well. We weren't able to watch his game against Skimbo, uh, but we are going to try to get that film for you. But we're taking a look here. This is the second semifinal matchup. Winner of this game is going to be going to the finals to play for a belt. Fancy winning his first belt last uh, live event and then Big Tay is making an uh, 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 making an appearance in this tournament. He is going to be in the four three even six one. If you want to learn how to run six one, um, Big Tay is going to show you how to do that. Fancy from what we saw last live event, really what put him on the map was his switch stick. So we should see some good switch sticking out of Fancy in this game. Super super excited uh, to watch this matchup. And Fancy is actually using his card that he created, Isaiah Simmons, at the middle linebacker position. And he created that card from winning the last tournament. Okay, so here we go. And it is going to be Big Tay first on offense. Big Tay is in the Patriots play, but going up top first play. And he's got A.J. Brown. He's going to get out of there, and he is going to get seven first play. And all of a sudden, Fancy is going to have to wake up off the bus Big Tay is here to play. Tight end whip, streak that slot receiver. If they don't put that right, if they put that third on that backside, it's not going to get there to that seam streak. Probably had a speed out or a comeback over there on the right side. Really a simple concept, but a great read from Big Tay, taking advantage of the coverage. Now, what's really interesting to me about these tournament games, I always think this is interesting. So if you guys didn't know, there was a patch in Madden that changed some things about how Blitzy worked. It made dollar uh, a little bit different than it was uh, pre-patch. And a lot of these pro players, uh, not a lot, just these guys that made the event, of the people that made the event, here we go, first play. There you see, look at this, look at this. He switched sticks to try to get the whip route. Got that streak over the top, and Big Tay able to take advantage of one of the best switch sticks in the nation, if not the best switch stick player we've seen in Madden 25. So, uh, but, but anyways, before the live event, right, there's all this mystery, right? We get a patch. What are the defenses that people are going to be running? And all this speculation. Is someone going to find something? And here we are, and we've got 6-1, dollar, 3 odd, and double mug. Those are the defenses that have been ran, and those have been the defenses that have been the defenses all year long. Maybe 3-4 odds in there. Maybe 3-4 um, maybe odds in there. And then maybe 3-3 three, three Cub is in there. Now, this is Fancy's team. He's got Will Levis at quarterback with Gunslinger, one of the big takeaways from this event. You should be rocking, rocking Gunslinger, and you should have Mark Gastonow on your defense with double or nothing at your nose tackle if you are running dollar on defense. Here we go. Fancy first play. I don't even know what playbook Fancy's in. Last I saw, he was in the Chargers playbook. I don't think I saw anywhere in the broadcast where they actually talked about the playbooks, but we'll be able to tell relatively quickly here. I'm almost positive this is Chargers, um, but let's just see. So he is going to go to – so Fancy is going to be in Bunch Nasty. He's going to audible over here to this formation. Seam streak. This is the audible that kills 6-1. This is why people do not run 6-1 is because of this – Audible right here. He comes out in short side bunch. He audibles over to Trips. Fancy's very systematic about this, and he has labbed this up. You see Big Tay all over the place defensively. Fancy's going to snap the ball quick. Almost throws an interception. Almost throws an interception. Big Tay taking that in. I'm almost positive this is Chargers. I, I, it might be Lions, though. It actually might be Lions because I don't see Bunch strong. If, if, if you don't have – I know this is Lions. This is Lions. Chargers doesn't have Trips. So, yeah, this is definitely Lions. Slant post combo in for six, and we have fireworks early in this game. Big Tay giving up six to, to Fancy. So, Fancy's playbooks, just so we're so we're keeping track, because we're kind of keeping track. Fancy is in Lions on offense, and he is in, I'm pretty sure he's in probably Chiefs defensively. Uh, Big Tay, we don't know what he's in. Probably Vikings, maybe Chiefs. The reason people are using Chiefs defensive playbook is because it has 6-1 and dollar. So those are the two, in my opinion, clear-cut like main defenses you're going to be seeing. So let's see how fancy answers back because that first drive was nothing uh, what we wanted to see. Now, Big Tay is always interesting to look at the pressures, look at the coverages out of 6-1. 
A lot of people running a lot of different types of blitzes out of six one right now. So we'll see if the live event six one can figure this out. This is double safety walk down from fancy, and we have the uh, backed off slot corners. Drini was moving these slot corners up. Let's see what fancy's doing here. Probably some edge blitz. I would assume. I think I saw him run a lot of edge blitz. A little uh, U trip special. This is edge blitz. There's a switch stick. There's a switch stick again. That's a pick. He can't catch it because it's a high point. If you're not high pointing seam streaks, that is a huge takeaway from this live event. You need to be high pointing. You need to be throwing seam streaks because it basically prevents you from ever having ever having a problem offensively. That's a little bit of an over exaggeration. Oh my gosh, he throws another touchdown. That's another touchdown. Fancy's getting Fancy's getting exposed early. Fancy switch stick is getting manipulated. Big Tay just puts everybody on a streak, and Fancy switch sticks at one time. It's a touchdown. Huge play from Big Tay, 14-7. to seven. Can Big Tay get a stop against Fancy? We know Fancy's one of those guys that's so systematic, has played so much Madden, knows so much about the game. He can tend to struggle against kind of the off-meta type stuff. And uh, it'll be curious to see, just be curious to see how he adjusts throughout this game. I don't know who 86 Slayton Darius Slayton there for uh, for Big Tay on the kick return, and here you see again switch stick third leaves the leaves the step able to get that touchdown to the tight end Antonio Gates most feared card. All right, so uh, Fancy's probably going to literally audible to trips every play. Like, he will probably audible to trips every single play. Short side bunch, audible to wide side trips. I'm almost positive this is Lions playbook now. I, I forgot that I'm a, I forgot that Chargers does not have this trip set in flex. I can't believe I forgot that. But anyway, here we go. I don't know what that was. Press man coverage, labbed up a streak. P.I.? P.I. on Big Tay, breaking the rules. Got to be more fundamentally sound at the end of the day, buddy. You know, you just can't do that. It's just against the rules. Here we go. We're going short side bunch. He's going to cheat. He might, he might also cheat motion him every play, too. So this is the blitz here. Now, Big Tay does have uh, a safety at his user position. So he has glitched his lineup to get a safety here. And on this outside, though, we still have linebackers. which are kind of interesting, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, uh, again, here's the audible to trips. Look at the pressure here. Send five off this edge. Pressure. Here we go. Now we have a ball game. Third and 16. Now we have a ball game. Pressure starting to mount for Fancy. Can he get a conversion on this play? Should be an audible to trips. And we should. Uh, I'm not even sure exactly what we're going to do coverage-wise from Big Tay. But you see, look at this guy move out like that. That's crazy. Um, so if you're going to get pressure, you're going to send here. Just going to send four. Slant route, that should be a touchdown for Fancy. Good route, just get in the end zone and get a stop on defense now, Fancy. Let's go. That's a huge, huge, huge play for him. And you're seeing this, this main thing of bunch to trips. And why is that effective? It's effective because 6-1 is really good against compressed formations because it is a compressed defense. Whereas when you audible to trips, all of a sudden now you got all this space over here on the outside. You give that defense a lot of trouble. They have to over adjust to the trip side. And now you're able to manipulate them on the back end. So we'll see kind of how uh, Big Tay adjusts his defense throughout the game. And also really interesting to see here what Fancy is going to do to stop giving up one play touchdowns on seam streaks and actually make Big Tay have to actually make a read. Because so far we've just given him a wide open seam streak every play. All right, here we go. We have U trips. User in this right side guy. There's edge blitz. There's a okay. That that was a corner route, and that is perfectly displaying why zones are terrible in this game. And so I'm just not sure what Fancy wants to do here defensively. Like here's cover six Willie corner. I mean, okay. I, I don't know what's going on defensively right now for Fancy. Does not look good for him. And these switch sticks are slow. Could be just because he hasn't played Big Tay. Could be because, you know, U-Trips is one of those off-meta formations. Not sure, but – and also, I mean, Big Tay's kind of exposed the switch stick a little bit here. Standing out here, this should be cover six, Willie. Looks like his pass pro is a half slide left. Okay, good. That's good defense. There we go. Forced throw away. Good defense, Fancy. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of how Fancy plays defense this year. Learned a lot from him, and uh, hopefully he, he will be able to get a stop here. 
He's obviously the guy that I would like to see win this one. Edge blitz, switch stick. Look at this corner route. Look at this corner route. That's an outside third. Outside third or an outside quarter. You just throw the corner route right at it. It's a basic corner route. It's not even like – it's just a corner route. It's not even stemmed down. You just throw it, and that's how zones are in this game. You can just throw right at them. That's why switch stick. you got to switch stick. You have to switch stick to get a stop. There's a switch stick. Good D. Pocket collapse. Throw away. And you see, Fancy's getting enough pressure. He, he's not going to send a lot of pressure. The way Fancy's going to get a stop is going to – he's sending four all game. Fancy and Skimbo actually kind of play similarly. There's Willie. There's that corner out again to the tight end. And we <laughs> – 21 to 14 in the first quarter. This is – this is going to be an interesting game. You can already tell. Big Tay came to play, took down Skimbo round one, and now he's on to Fancy, the most recent belt winner, and he is winning this ball game and really playing pretty good ball offensively. Defensively, it really does not look like he has a chance at stopping Fancy, but we will see. Um, we'll see if he adjusts this, but, I mean, Fancy stuff looks good. It's systematic. It's it's you do this, I audible to this, I throw this. It's I like that style of play. And see there, I mean, that's just not I think he cross man the tight end. I you you've got to be prepared here for U trips. That tight end corner is one of the base routes of U trips. It's one of the main things people are gonna do, especially this year, because you can corner route out of everything. So tough, tough sledding for fancy right now defensively. He's got to find a way. He's got to figure it out. Big Tay changes defenses. He gets in dollar. This is Big Tay's counter to the trips audible. His counter to the trips audible is I'm going to get in dollar and I'm just going to make you work defensively. So let's see how he does uh, with this defense. Here's the audible to trips. And now you should see this is a lot better because now it's a more spread out formation. And now you have more help over there. There's cover six Willie. There's a shed. And now again, third and four. 14. Third and 14, long yardage situation for Fancy. Let's see what he ends up doing here. We go motion cross post. We have uh, flipping that play. Fancy is literally just living in these auto motion plays. Pretty much living in them. There's that fade. That's open. That's a touchdown. That's a, that's a touchdown. Get out of there. Make a move. Good play. It's at least a big play. Good hit. You cannot run cover two on. I mean, that's one of the most fundamental things about this game. Do not run cover two on cheat motion side. You cannot do that. You can never, ever, ever, ever run cover two, which is one of the big advantages to the cheat motions. It eliminates man coverage and it eliminates cover two on that side. Then you just have to work combos to be able to beat and manipulate cover three and cover four. There you see a little flat route to pits. Short side bunch, either a flip or an audible to trips. Another thing that Fancy's doing everything every single time, I did want to talk about this. I need to put this in my notes for takeaways uh, from the tournament. There you see there's that flat. See, now we're playing cover three, but look, high, low, that defender. Great combos right now. And, and what, what's really cool about the way Fancy plays offense, this is why I like studying him a lot, he plays fairly simple. He doesn't have a lot of combos, but the combos he has are intentional and they really um, they work well off one another, which I love playing that. That's how I prefer to play the game. Trips flex, audible. He's also, uh, so that's why I would say he audibles every time. So, and I'm going to explain why he does that. So, he streak, there's that cover two. That's a touchdown, missed it. Um, why does Fancy audible every time? Fancy audibles every time because he's going to come out in a short side bunch, and he's either going to flip the bunch Right here, he flips the bunch, or he's going to audible to trips. The reason this is good, and the reason that this is a good way to play the game, is because when you audible, you get better hot route, faster hot routes. So he's going to come to the line of scrimmage. He's going to wait for a second. He's going to audible. So watch. He comes to the line of scrimmage. He's going to wait for a second. He's going to audible. Now he has a basically super fast hot routes, and then he can snap the ball quickly, and he misaligns your defense. It's essentially a form of quick snapping that Fancy is doing with this kind of cadence of his offense and something that's a super small thing, but honestly something that a lot of people don't really understand. Why would he be doing that? And really it's also another reason why I think Lions is – I was honestly probably wrong about Lions. It is probably one of the better playbooks in the game because of this audible trick that you can do, and it really makes it so that you're either in bunch or trips to the side that you want to be on because you're either flipping your bunch or you're flat out audibling to your trips, but you always come out short side. So if he, you know, you, you just have a lot of things you can do from this. Now this little bunch flex, little mini, middle, little uh, dig return setup here, gonna flip it. 
I'm not sure how I feel about the flip here, uh, but he is going to flip it. Stems this in route all the way down. Have a slant. Again, quick snap. There's the whip. There's the switch stick. There's the pick. That might be six. Can he get out of there? And there's a stop. Big Tay with a stop on defense. First stop of the game. We'll see if he can capitalize on it offensively here. And you see Fancy all of a sudden. Now the pressure continues to, to mount on him, and he has to get a stop. Because I believe that he does get balled half time, so he's not out of it. But he he kind of needs a stop here. Definitely kind of needs a stop here. Fancy changes defenses. This is really surprising. And I don't know that that's the move. And that's an offside, so that's a free 50 yards. Fancy does <laughs> – I'm not sure, man. This is not looking good. He's already out of dollar. I don't love that. Fancy is best in dollar. He's in 6-1, trying to run this glitch blitz. Well, Big Tay is an expert in 6-1. 6-1 is not really that great of a defense against U-trips. It's kind of interesting. Now, why would Fancy go to this? I'm not exactly sure. Probably just to try to change the blitz look up. I'm not sure why. But he's trying to – and look where he's specifically standing just slightly to the side. He's going to cross in. There's that A-gap pressure. And, and we're going to ball like that. So – just kind of an interesting deal, and really the flow of this game is very, very, very surprising because situationally he should probably still be in dollar. I don't think Big Tay has shown enough other than just throwing a tight end corner out that you could easily cover. It's just I don't know. I feel like you got a better chance at a stop in, in dollar than this, but there's a touchdown there to the right side. He misses it. I feel like again you're seeing in, in the switch stick for fancy he can't switch stick as good out of six one as you can switch stick out of dollar you just you, the way the defense is formatted it's not as easy of a switch stick to get from one side of the defense to the other so yeah just kind of an interesting decision we haven't seen him do this really at all in this last tournament it was dollar the entire way through and now we're out here in six one and more than anything we're showing blitz so look this seam streak this seam streak's wide open. There's that corner route we just talked we talked about a little bit ago. He can throw that ISO, ISO corner route all day long. That's just a handoff. That's just a layup. That's just a simple throw. And, I mean, this is he's got him on the rocks. He's got him on the rocks right here. Does he throw this tight end route? There should be a seam streak to the tight end or a corner route. That's a seam streak. Throw it inside pass lead. Oh, probably high. I don't know if he highballed that. That should have been a possession catch touchdown. He should have. I don't think he possession caught it. I think you possession catch that, and that's a touchdown if you do. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, there's the switch stick. Now fancy switch sticking, and there you go. He switch sticks onto the corner. He's able to play that corner well, and now here we go. We got a third and long. If he holds to three here, he's honestly fine because he can go down and get three, or he can go down and get seven. We're going to go tight end whip. Let's see what the slot receiver's on that streak. Motion over streak. This might be double streaks. There's that loop. Good switch stick. And now you see fancy switch stick. And there's a pick. There's, there's a pick. That's a huge stop. That's a huge stop in this game. And he's back. Fancy's back in position. That's a huge stop. And that's just simple. Honestly, it's a great switch stick from fancy is what it comes down to. Able to switch onto that, able to switch onto that quarter and and just just bite down. Watch this, watch this post, watch this backside post. Great user here. He switched sticks back. It didn't even necessarily have to. It's it's just a late kind of you know and that's a throwaway for Big Tay. You got to throw that away. Besides, he's not going to do that. There's that tight end corner we talked about. That that stem down corner. You don't stem it all the way down. You stem it all the way down except for the last stem. So you want to run about five yards and then cut. And that is a really nice isolation route that you can throw. They have to switch stick to guard it. So here we go. We have streak. We have that, that, that combo he's been going to a lot. There's a, there's a shed. And here we, you know, third and 18. And I think he's still, is he, I think he's back in dollar or uh, 6 1 now. Third and 18, two minutes left. You've kind of got to convert this. If you don't convert this, you're basically just in the same situation you were just in. But you have to kind of get a red zone stop for it to not really affect how this game ends up going. Big Tay is in that 6-1, and he's misaligned. This should be a good deal for Fancy, but he messed up a hot route. As you see, he's got to re-hot route him. 
Um, and not able to get it. He's going to slant post, slant post, slant post. You got to go for this fourth and 19. You got to go for this. And that's a two minute warning. You, you I 100% believe in going for this right here. If he doesn't get it, then he gives himself a chance at a red zone stop, which is the easiest way to get stops in this game. Or he, um, you know, also gives the, gives the uh, chance to get him get the ball back so the big take can't clock him out. So you have to go for this pretty much in this game. And there's a delay. This is just or, oh encroachment. Okay, so he gave him a free five yards. I think was big big Tay probably setting up that six one four man. A lot of people ask me, is that four man patch? There's a reason Big Tay and Fancy are both running it on both sides of the ball. That four man is not patched. Now we're in dollar. Kind of interesting. Maybe he just wanted to be in a different defense. I don't know why he did that. Fancy's gotta feel good that he's in dollar, honestly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a catch. Good possession catch. And you saw Big Tay when he broke that up. He's spamming that RB button, trying to sw trying to strip the ball out to uh, get it in completion. That's a huge conversion for Fancy. Huge conversion for Fancy. Keeps the drive alive, puts him in a position to go down, get three or get seven, and then he does get ball out of half. So you see a lot of this. There's that flip bunch again. We stem this all the way up. It stays the stem. Motion this guy over, looking at this streak. Streak, nope, hand the ball off. And 44, who's 44? Is that Aligar? I don't know who 44 is. Or Tucker. That's t I don't know who that is. It's like the only player in the NFL. I don't know who it is. All right. Trips, flex, motion post. Going to go back to that combo. Is this slant? Yep, this is the combo he's going to run. He's going to run this combo. He's ran this a ton this game. Look at that tight end post. So basically this play is motion Y post out of trips, tight end flex in the Lions playbook. You're going to audible to it. You're going to slant that inside trips receiver and you're going to snap that ball. That's all he's doing. So he's here audible. Watch. He's going to slant. Uh, he's on a different play call here. He just is. He's really just quick snapping him. Honestly, what's this motion streak? Nice read. Can't catch it. Yeah, he has called motion post out of trips flex probably seven times in this half. Is this halfback angle? Halfback angle, I love this combo. This is what I was saying Des should have done. There's a touchdown, he just won't throw it. He refuses to throw a touchdown. He does not want to score. Not sure why he didn't throw that. He had a wide open touchdown on the left side. A lot of misreads. And this is what switch shit can do to you. This is what good pressure can do to you. Right, you can start to misread. You see, these these are the best players in the world, and they still sometimes misread. There's a tight end. That's a huge throw. Great throw from Fancy under pressure to that tight end. You cannot play cover two on the tight end side in this formation. You cannot play cover two on the tight end side in this formation. Not anymore. Not with motion post. Not with how good of a play that is. You cannot play cover two. You've got to figure that out. All right, here we go flat. There's that tight end. That running back's wide open. That's a great throw right through the defense. And we are back in the game. Fancy kind of – it's one of those things. This is what good players do. This is what good Madden players do is when you leave the door open, you throw a pick, you don't get that third or fourth down and long stop, they capitalize on those kind of drives. Great, great play from Fancy, able to put himself in a good position – to be able to actually be winning the game after the first drive of the second half. Can he kind of hold here in these next 24 seconds is left to be seen. A little red zone combo there out of that halfback angle play in the trips in the Lions book. Uh, so, yeah, Tay is in Patriots playbook on offense. We don't know for sure what he is on defense. It's probably Chiefs. So it's probably Chiefs for both these guys defensively. A little tight end whip there, and that was that play that he scored on right there. That's that tight end whip with the backside or with a comeback route and a slot seam streak. Kind of a good play. So streak whip, and then come back over there on the right side. Going crazy with lines here. There's that flat read. You're seeing. I mean, <laughs> all right. I don't think Fancy's back in dollar. He needs to stay in dollar. He doesn't. 6-1 is not really the reason he got that stop, in my opinion. He just got that stop because I think Big Tay just made a mistake. 
It's Isaiah Simmons. This edge blitz is not coming in at all. Did get a shed sack there. Second and 16. We'll see what he does here. Second and 16 situation. So you got to watch out for the slot streak. It's probably tight end corner or slot seam streak. Tight end corner. Double streaks with the post. Running back flat situationally. Leave that. Actually a pretty good carry, but out of timeouts. And that is going to be it for the first half. Our boys back for the second half here. And we got bit, we got fancy on offense. There's that wheel route against that match coverage. Great way to beat match this year is utilizing that wheel route like that. And uh, this is a huge drive for fancy. This can literally flip the entirety of the game. So far, I feel like Big Tay has honestly played better. And fancy's kind of been just like staying in the game and, and really just not letting the game get too far away from him. And now we're in a position where Fancy can literally go up a score, and now the pressure's going to swing back to Big Tay. So this is why kicking – this is why I, I say this in a lot of my videos. If you are playing Madden, you want to win, you play college football, same thing, make sure you are kicking the ball off if you win the coin toss. Make sure that you are always selecting kick if you win that coin toss. Here we go. Big Tay switched a dollar. Able to get that instant shed on that left side. Micah Parsons able to get that pressure. But it's interesting to me that uh, this Leo Chanel card has, like, really good speed, but actually terrible pass rush stats. So you have Max Crosby, Gastineau probably, and Parsons on the dollar pressure. Here's motion post. He's using that slant route. He's got that slant flat combo. There's that streak. Almost able to throw it again. Just enough pressure. Just enough pressure. Uh, situationally to be able to uh, take care of that defensively. And now we have a fourth and 15. Now, Fancy doesn't get this. You know, it's a huge advantage, obviously, for Big Tay. Able to go up one possession. So we're just kind of in a standstill in this game. This is 6-1, audible to trips. Pro uh, I like the verticals call here. This is a great play for 6-1. Hard for 6-1 to be able to handle all this. That's a touchdown on the left side. He misses it, but he's going to ag him. Very nice and able to get, able to get, a, able to get the first down. That's about all you can ask for, <laughs> right there. That's really good, really good from Fancy doing what he needed to do in that situation and able to get the stop. Okay, so uh, there's that fade, 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 fade wide open. We're going to throw in double coverage, and we're still going to catch it. Oh, man, I wish he would throw that fade route. That fade route has been open so many times in this game. Like, literally so many times in this game that, that fade route has been there for him. All right, so first and goal from the one-yard line. We're going to go I-form. I don't know what I-form. This I-form close. Power or stretch right. Free touchdown. That's about as free of a touchdown as you're going to get. Fancy's going to get that one-possession lead. And now it's going to be interesting to see how does Big Tay respond Fancy's going to be able to play with a lead from ahead, which is really where I think Fancy's at his best because his defensive it, it amps up that pressure and it really gets you to throw into some of his switch stick picks. So we'll kind of see uh, how that ultimately is going to change the offensive approach on this drive. This is a huge drive for Big Tay. If he does not score here, you know the game can get away from him. Obviously, Dez waiting for the final already made the final so we'll see what happens here but anyways we do have fancy's in dollar we don't want to see him in six one i want to see him in dollar that's where he's probably at his best switch sticking around there's a switch stick very good that was that corner round that corner out was open but i'm telling you even just the threat of fancy's switch stick is so much better in dollar and so when he's in dollar you have to you have to – you kind of feel that switch stick and that capability that he has defensively, and it's almost like a way of respect where you're going to see Big Tay's going to hold the ball a little longer, and when you do that, you get a D-line pick. That's a huge play for Fancy. That's exactly what he needs. Again, I've tried to tell people, Dollar doesn't have the best blitz in the game, but it has the best blitz is – in the game because it has three different really effective blitzes as db fire it has edge blitz three it has cover six willie all different blitzes all different pass protections and when you can block one blitz consistently you send the other blitz and you can get stuff like that great defense 
from Fancy. And we need to score here. We need to really get seven here, honestly. It's okay if he gets three. It is a red zone situation, so it's a big advantage defensively for Big Tay. But if he gets seven here, it's a big deal. Fancy's going to go to this bunch. Um, I think this is bunch flex. And let's see if he goes with uh, that corner route. We're going to run a running back streak. Dig return here on the right side. Not sure what that is with that smoke screen. I have not seen that. That's a smoke screen. I don't think he even meant to do that. But that is a smoke screen. We're throwing smoke screens in MCS games, boys. Third and goal. Ball on the four-yard line now. And we'll see what, uh, what he's able to do this way. He's going to go bunch flex. This dig return. Yeah, I don't think he meant to put him on a smoke screen. I think he 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 wants that dig return route for his red zone play. So his red zone play, a little mesh, whip, sack, and now you're going to take your three. So Big, Big Tay does what he needs to do. He gets the stop he needs to get, or at least gets the hold to three. And now Big Tay can go down, get seven or three for that matter, and put himself in a position to try to uh, basically get a stop against Fancy. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens here. But this is where Fancy can end the game. This is if Fancy gets a stop here, the clock is you know you're thinking you probably get that stop around the around the you know 50 seconds, 30 seconds left in the third quarter. Probably in a better situation. And honestly, that's where Fancy can really kind of put his foot on the gas defensively and be able to kind of get out of this game uh, with a victory. And Big Tay's done a lot of good stuff this game. I mean, really up to the D-line pick, you know, you kind of feel like Big Tay is playing better. But now we see the switch sticking. There's the, there's the intentional grounding. And now you're seeing Fancy kind of get into his flow. He's getting into his rhythm with a switch stick. He's learning the tendencies. And this is what Fancy does. Fancy gets better as the game goes on because his defense truly is predicated – on his switch stick and playing off your tendencies and what are your main routes he's going to take those away with a switch stick you'll see there's that switch stick he, he that's a that's a lurk that's a lurk right there that should have been a pick probably wasn't i think he highballed it um because of that probably a high ball uh, and i said i think he's using joe burrow so fancy and des using levis tay and drini using burrow Little DB fire. There's that man up. That's another pick. Throw right at you. And here we go. This is it. Fourth and 22. And you see all of a sudden the, 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 the game just completely shifted. And it's because of fancy switch stick. His defense, when he starts to kind of figure out what you're doing, he can switch stick onto it really well and really put himself in a great position defensively. So let's see what he calls here, 4th and 22. This is going to be interesting to see what he does from a, a pressure perspective. Get a pause there. I think from fancy, maybe he's setting up a different defense. This is where you. I think you stay in dollar. I don't know that you – sometimes people like to give people different defensive looks here. He is going to give – this is the Dez. This is the Dez defense where we're just going to go cover three cloud with clouds. We're going to put the clouds at the sticks. we got a vert hook in the middle of the field. I don't love this call, but it probably will. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. And we get the middle third, a switch stick, throw right at you. He almost caught it, but he is able to get the stop. And Fancy takes control of the game because now if he gets seven, it's a three-possession game. If he gets seven right here, it is a three-possession game, very hard to come back from with this clock. But at the same time, if you're Fancy, you want to use some clock. You don't really have to get seven. You just need to get clock off because two possessions – it's still hard in this game, especially with how Fancy is showing that he's picking up his ability defensively. And it is looking like we are about to see a Dez and Fancy final. Does Fancy repeat and win his second straight belt? Or does Dez win? I believe this will be his third belt and kind of remind people that Dez is one of the best players in the world. Fancy hits a nice streak, high ball possession in the back of the end zone. There's a 17-point lead. And Fancy is kind of starting to look like himself here towards the end of this game. Played kind of a weird game against Mad Rocks. Played a weird game, honestly, first weird first half, especially against Big Tay. And now you're starting to see here he's coming, and we'll see what he can do against Dez in the final. Let's also just take a look at how Fancy kind of continues to play defensively. 
fancy is running the dollar defense that we teach in our school community. If you're not a member of our school community, we had that we've had that defense out since I think the first day of the game's been out. We've constantly updated it throughout the year, adding a lot of these switch stick principles into it. There you see almost gets him again. And you notice what Fancy's doing. He's he's waiting to switch stick onto it, and then he just instantly bites down. It's super hard to read that. And I think just by far best switch stick in the country. I mean it's just best switch stick in the country. It'd be interesting to see Dez play defense against Fancy and Fancy play defense against Dez. Probably the best two players at the event. There's that corner route again. Able to get out on that. Go Y off trips pats. Tied and whip with a streak. Worthy for president. Send friend request. Why wouldn't you? Here we go. We got a motion streak. Not streak, streak. Yeah, it's not really a good play. I think that was out of tight and whip. We got double streaks on the left side. We got a whip post on the right. And then we had a flat from the running back. Probably for cover two. Sink on that solo side. Again, um, you know, these are not – in this year's games, honestly, cover two is much better on the three-receiver side than it is on the – on the, and there's that switch stick onto that. That's a streak. That's And that's the touchdown he gave up. That was the touchdown he gave up the first drive of the game, the first play of the game. Here he switch sticks onto it, and he takes the ball away. And that is – Pretty much going to be GG's. He's going to just clock from here on out. I want to talk a little bit about the event and the tournament so far. Some of my takeaways uh, from the event. One of the biggest takeaways from the event, as far as playbooks are considered, is motion, auto motion, cheat motion. Have those, have that stuff, because that stuff is super important in every offense. Every offense we've seen, Dez uses cheat motion. Fancy uses cheat motion. Uh, Big Tay didn't really use cheap motion because he didn't have that in U-trips, but he did use motion. Uh, Drini used cheap motion, right? These cheap motion plays are a clear-cut meta in this game. They're an effective tactic and really something new to Madden. We haven't seen that before. Uh, another thing that we're seeing, and really from, I think, the better players, specifically, I think, Fancy, more systematic and just more, I guess, just playing the game at a, at a certain in a certain way, that audible from bunch to trips, that audible from bunch nasty to trips. I think that Henry was one of the first people doing that this year. And a lot of these guys are doing that now. So that, that lion's playbook where you can go from bunch to trips really gives formations like six, one, a lot of problems and allows you to have a combination of spread and compression within your arsenal offensively, and defensively so this bunch x nasty and notice what he's doing this is super underrated another i think super important thing here you see henry Hen shout out to henry sending the friend request but another thing that's really interesting here is he comes out in short side bunch and then he almost always here you probably just run the ball but he almost always either flips his bunch which flips it into a wide side or he, he audibles to trips, which flips it basically again into that trips to the left or that wide side of the formation. So that is kind of the strategy uh, that he's doing is that audible round, but really an intentional audible from Fancy utilizing the hash marks to create more space for his offense. Again, the purpose of these runs is just clock, right? We're just trying to get as much clock possible. Big Tay knows that. You know, this is one of those games where – is, is pretty much over at this point, and you're just going to see clockwork. A couple passes here and there, but, you know, really he's just in a great spot. He's just trying to get this game over with. We're at about three minutes left in the quarter. Going to go trips. There's that route to the running back out of there with a little juke, and that is a – and that's a really intentional dive down. That's smart by fancy. That's systematic. That's intentional. That's playing the game a lot. We're going to just take that deal down, take more clock. It's going to be three more runs. We're just trying to take as much clock as we possibly can. Another thing defensively that I didn't want to touch on is Dez is probably – I think Dez is the only one running some double mug, and he ran a lot of double mug against Drini, so we'll be interested to see that. But the other thing that we've seen, again from Fancy, and something that might just be unique to his game, we are seeing – so when, when Fancy's playing his best defense, he's switch sticking all over the field. Didn't see that a ton from anybody else which is kind of surprising given that 
wood stick is the main way to get stops. We're seeing it some from Dez. We're seeing it some from Journey. We're seeing it some from Big Tay. We're seeing it some from all these guys. We're not seeing it as their primary thing. And I think Fancy is kind of separating himself due to this. He's going to take this down to the two-minute warning. And, you know, we're just going to kind of see how Big Tay wants to do this. But, you know, three possession lead, two minutes left in the game. Fancy's in scoring position. He, you know, now here you might just take three. I think he's still – just go for it. Try to finish the game, like finish the game strong type of deal. But we're going to see a stretch, stretch to the right side, and going to get about four yards, going to bring about a fourth and five. And it does look like Fancy's going to just take this all the way down. He's probably going to literally take it all the way down to the point of he's going to take it to lay a game, and then he is going to kick a field goal. So as far as cliff notes or things that I've taken away from the tournament so far, one of the big ones is auto motion plays. You need to be using auto motion plays. The second one really uh, comes back to I'm just consistently shown switch stick. And really, in my opinion, like the best way to switch stick is out of a baseline defense, like a dollar, a three three five odd, even a four three six one. While double mug seems to be still one of the better blitzing defenses in the game. It'll be very interesting to see what Dez does against Fancy because Dez normally runs dollar, right? He's the guy that really was one of the early adopters of the double safety walk down dollar defense from last year that has been the clear-cut best defense, in my opinion, from August to October you know, and we're kind of rolling right into November with Dollar still being the clear-cut number one defense. So it'd be interesting to see if Dez runs Dollar against Fancy and really to also think about why did he run double mug against Drini. Not 100% sure, but we're seeing here. I mean, the switch tick from Fancy is really – it really is tough. It's tough to play against, and um, I think it's just the best way to play defense. In a game where defense is hard – Fancy consistently gets stops in these tournaments. And it's due, you see there, almost got him again. It's due to these switch sticks and him closing the windows himself, reading the field, understanding the plays, getting on the tendencies, learning the concepts, having really a base adjustments, right? This is just Edge Blitz 3. It's just cover 4, Edge Blitz 3. He's just cover 4. And so let me just show you what he's doing here when, uh, when he comes out offensively. But it's Edge Blitz 3, quarter, 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 and then hard flats or curl flats based off situation. He'll switch stick onto one of the quarters. You see switch stick on two of them. That's basically what he's doing. He's just literally running cover four, switch sticking. And this is one of the, you know, say what you want. This guy literally just beat Skimbo in a live event. He's one of the best players in the world right now, and he can't beat that defense. He cannot beat that coverage consistently. You don't need a lot of complicated adjustments this year. It's one of the first years of Madden I've ever, ever played where you really don't need – you, you can play a very simple defense if you focus on switch sticking. Switch sticking. Flicking your right joystick based on what they do. And it does look like Big Tay is going to concede and simply punt the ball away down 20 points to fancy. Big Tay did not score a second half point. And Fancy's going to kneel this one out, and he is going to go on to the finals. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn any of the stuff that I teach, make sure you join our school site. Uh, we do have that dollar in there. We have a, uh, we are drop. We actually already have a Lions ebook in there. I need to update that a little bit, but we have a Lions ebook in there as well. And we do have a 6-1 ebook too. So if you're not a member of the school site, that link is going to be in the description. But thanks for watching the game. And that is Fancy versus Big Tay.